Oh, hi there, and welcome to Route 9. Now, this is an optional route west of Opelucid City. You do not have to come here if you don't want to, but I'm going to cover it because why not? Um, I need my repels because I'm lazy and don't want to run to wild Pokemon. Ah, ah, there we go. I know how to read. It's a good sign, guys. Anyways, down into the tall grass, you can find an elixir right off the bat. If you keep heading this way, you'll eventually run into some trainer dude over this way. Um, no? A joke, he says. He threatens to take my Pokemon if he beats me. And he calls it a joke. Yeah, I'm not buying it. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely not buying it. Uh, no, I changed my mind. I want this. Okay. Uh, west of the... Roughneck dude, you can grab yourself a nugget. Nuggets can only be sold for money. Uh, just worth pointing out. I think right here is a dark gem. And if we head down this way, we could grab a iron. And I think that's about it. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep, that's it. All right. Anyways, with that little detour out of the way, back onto the main route. You could head up here and fight a couple more battles on this route. In case you didn't notice, this route is full of roughnecks and people who I'm kind of afraid are gonna mug me. Uh, this is a scary route. Uh, vending machines. I really should restock on lemonades, but I'm too lazy to sit at a vending machine picking them up. Head over here, you could fight another biker dude, well, the first of the biker dudes on this route. I'm making things up. Chase the sun during the day, sleep all night. Well, I'm glad that works for you. My philosophy is stay awake all night and sleep in the day. <laughs> uh, it's such a horrible philosophy. I'm such a night owl. I hate going to bed like prior to the late hours of the night. Anyways, Shopping Mall 9. I will be covering that after I finish checking out the rest of the route. Shopping Mall 9 is the main feature and the main reason to come to Route 9 because it has all of your shopping needs for the low, low price of all your money. Yep. It's also worth mentioning that there is a new wild Pokemon you could obtain on this route, Pawniard, which evolves into Bisharp, and it's a Dark Steel type. Uh, 
I don't know. I really, really like its design. It's probably one of my more favorite fifth gen design Pokemon. But unfortunately, it doesn't have the greatest move pull. Like, Absol is a better dark type, and like, a Lucario would be a better steel type. It's just very outclassed. I'd say at this point in the game, you're you're probably waiting on something that you find strong if you haven't completed your team yet. And this isn't really what you're looking for. Cool design, but I'd say only worth using if you like it. I'm really bad at this game. Uh, I don't know if I wanted to get rid of Stun Spore, but I don't know. Hurricane's a pretty strong move. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm bad at this game. Anyways, west of here it leads to the Two Blind Bridge, but it is closed off so you can't go this way. Apparently they're trying to test how many people it can hold. How do you test that? By putting a bunch of people on the bridge? Uh, so, I don't know. That's a safety hazard. Don't go that way. Anyways, let's take a look at Shopping Mall 9. You will be on Cloud 9. It's on Route 9. 9. 9, 9, 9! So much 9. I'm a lady. No kidding. Brilliant observation. If you buy her a hyper potion, she'll buy her, or she'll give you money for a hyper potion. Uh, so you give her a hyper potion and she'll give you an energy root. The energy root basically does what the hyper potion does, but it severely lowers your Pokemon's happiness because of it. So, uh, I don't know. It's an interesting trade-off. You get money for it, so I guess it's worth it, in a sense. Anyways, this is your grand old supermarket where you can buy literally everything you'll ever need. And I might as well do some shopping while I'm here. I mean, why not? <laughs> so, I'm actually pretty well stocked on a lot of things like potions and whatnot. But this is a great place to buy stuff if you need stuff. Um, yeah, you can pretty much buy anything. There's also a few battles you could fight here as well. Bravo, bravo, yay. Unfortunately, the one thing you can't buy here is full restores, which is actually very saddening. Like, why don't they have full restores? They have like everything except full restores. They do sell max potions though, but those are kind of a ripoff. Hyper potions are definitely the way to go. Up the steps, you can buy all your Pokeball needs. The main important ones can be bought in Opelucid City, but you can buy them all here. I'm gonna restock on Pokeballs, and whoops. Uh, you can get Premier Balls by buying 10 Pokeballs at a time. 
Uh, it's a little known fact that's been around in most Pokemon games for as long as I can remember at least. Premier Balls aren't really any different than Pokeballs, they're just a Pokeball that looks different. But hey, I always buy Pokeballs in bulk so it works for me. Up here you can buy the proteins and the irons and the zincs and basically all these items boost a Pokemon's effort value stat by 10. Uh, that's more for the effort value training post game type of people that want to train their Pokemon perfectly. Uh, over here you could buy all the X items as well as a guard special and a dire hit. Uh, I've never personally been a fan of X items and I've always been a person who speaks out against them. But if you do use them properly they can make just about any battle winnable if your Pokemon are under leveled. Again, I'm not a fan but they're there if you want to buy them. You could take the center staircase to head right back down. I think there was more battles here in black and white. I can't quite remember, but anyways, yeah. If you talk to this lady here, you could buy two TMs, Hyper Beam and Giga Impact. Hyper Beam special, Giga Impact is physical. They're both pretty much the same move except for that. Uh, they have 150 power, which is really amazing, but they require a recharge turn afterwards. So it's only worth it, in my opinion, if you could switch out afterwards, because you're only getting 75 power a turn out of the move. If used properly, they can be really powerful, but if you don't get the KO afterwards, it might not be worth it. Now this room's kind of an interesting room. In it, all you can grab at this point in time is a Poke Doll. It's an item that will allow you to escape from any wild Pokemon battle. Uh, now there is another purpose for this room. You can use it to change your Rotom's form. Rotom being a fourth gen Pokemon. Now you can't really get it at this point in the game, but if you come back here at a later point in time and you have a Rotom, you can uh, change its form using this room through the different appliances. So that's worth pointing out. Anyways, that wraps up the shopping mall 9. 99999. Baka baka baka. And we can head over back to Opelucid City where we can finally take on our seventh gym. That's it for this part. Thank you. And good night.